On April 20th, SpaceX's Starship Mega Rocket roared into the sky for its inaugural launch, presenting an intriguing question. Is the Starship too powerful to handle? When the rocket's super-heavy booster fired up its many Raptor engines, it let out a force of up to 15 million pounds. This was such a strong explosion that debris flew all around, dirt and sand fell on a town five miles away, and a big hole was left where the launch pad had been. But the launch drama didn't end there. At an impressive 24 miles above the ground, the booster, which was supposed to detach to allow the Starship to continue its voyage to space, failed to do so. This critical failure set the entire rocket spinning until SpaceX decided to initiate its flight termination system. The result was a mid-air explosion of the entire rocket. The consequences of this launch have been far-reaching. The Federal Aviation Administration, commonly known as the FAA, decided to halt all Starship activities while they conduct a comprehensive investigation into what went wrong. In addition to this, the FAA is also facing a lawsuit over the environmental damage caused by the powerful blast of Starship's engines. SpaceX needs Starship's unparalleled power to realize Musk's dreams of setting up a Mars colony. But at present, they are grappling with the consequences of this extraordinary force here on Earth. Musk had shared his concerns about a potential fireball incident that could melt the launch pad if any of the engines failed, which would take several months to rebuild. Although that particular scenario didn't play out, the launch pad was clearly damaged following the launch. Images and footage showed a vast crater where the rocket had taken off from. The destruction was probably caused by the gas generated by Starship's powerful engines. The rocket launched from an elevated mount, a supersized stool placed over a slab of concrete. Due to the Starship's sheer power, the heat transfer on the steel plate would have been immense, and the steel surface might have melted during the launch. SpaceX and the FAA had expected any explosion debris to be confined to a 700-acre area around the launch site. However, particles kicked up during the launch rained down on a town five miles away in Port Isabel, Texas. This potential risk is why NASA worries about a Starship explosion near LC-39A, which could disrupt their only way of launching astronauts to the ISS. So how will SpaceX resolve this engine issue for future flights? SpaceX is taking a two-pronged approach to resolve the engine issue for future flights, focusing both on hardware adaptations and technology optimizations. On one front, SpaceX is bolstering the resilience of the launch pad to better withstand the immense power of the Raptor 2 engines. This involves the incorporation of large steel plates equipped with pressurized water on the launch pad. This solution is grounded in the premise that steel, compared to concrete, can better endure the intense forces generated when the 33 Raptor engines ignite simultaneously. The addition of pressurized water is designed to further soften the impact. This infrastructure enhancement was under development before the Starship's maiden launch, but it wasn't ready in time. Following the unexpected severity of the damage to the concrete on the Starship pad, the urgency of this solution has been amplified. However, given the proximity of the Starbase launch site to protected wetlands, any such modifications to the infrastructure would require approval from the Army Corps of Engineers. At the moment, SpaceX has yet to apply for any alterations to its permits, but we can anticipate this being a key step in the process. Simultaneously, SpaceX is also delving deep into the technical aspects of the Raptor engines. A team of engineers and experts has been assembled to investigate the issue of combustion instability that led to the engine failure during the Starship launch. This team is conducting exhaustive simulations and tests to identify the root cause and develop ways to mitigate it. One possible solution under consideration involves modifying the engine's injector design. Injectors play a crucial role in the combustion process, mixing the fuel and oxidizer in the combustion chamber. By optimizing the injector design, SpaceX might be able to ensure a more stable combustion process, thereby reducing the chances of instability and engine failure. Another potential approach is to adjust the fuel and oxidizer mixture ratios. SpaceX might find a more stable combustion process by altering the proportions of liquid methane and liquid oxygen, which could minimize pressure fluctuations inside the chamber. It's important to remember that these solutions, while they may seem straightforward, are anything but simple. Rocket science involves a delicate balance, and changes to one part of the engine can have ripple effects on other components. 
The process of finding a fix is a meticulous journey of trial and error, requiring thorough analysis and rigorous testing at every stage. This two-pronged approach, involving both infrastructural enhancements and technological optimizations, underscores SpaceX's commitment to overcoming the current challenge and ensuring the success of future flights. This is rocket science in action, a blend of innovation, resilience, and unwavering determination. It's a challenging task, but if anyone is up for it, it's the trailblazing team at SpaceX. Despite the hurdles, SpaceX CEO Musk is keen to launch again within two months. However, he has previously confessed that he tends to be overly optimistic about launch timelines. In line with an FAA statement, SpaceX's roster of Starship rockets will remain grounded until the agency is satisfied that any system, process, or procedure related to the mishap does not jeopardize public safety. The duration of the investigation could vary. Simple cases might take weeks, while more complex ones might require several months, as shared by the FAA. Musk has voiced frustration over the FAA's regulations in the past, blaming them for hampering Starship's progress. This is not the first time the FAA has looked into SpaceX's Starship operations. A previous mishap led to a prototype test flight being delayed for almost three weeks. As of now, Musk hasn't commented on the new federal inquiry, and SpaceX hasn't responded to requests for comments. In essence, there is a long road ahead before we see Starship flights resume. SpaceX's current workhorse rocket, Falcon 9, took 10 years of transporting only cargo before astronauts first boarded it in 2020. We'll need to see several successful unmanned Starship launches before we can anticipate crewed missions. There's much at stake when launching humans into space. Once SpaceX resolves these issues, we will be left with the world's largest fully reusable rocket, transforming humanity's relationship with the cosmos forever. This brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed watching, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.